In this video, we're going to discuss how the fossils found in rock layers can provide evidence of life that existed on Earth, as well as climate and the environment that these rocks formed in. Well, to start, we need to remember that uh, rock layers are sedimentary in nature and they contain fossils. So some layers can contain fossils that represent the life that existed on Earth at the time that that rock layer formed. So this is really important to us as scientists because these fossils and sedimentary rock layers can tell us three different things. The first is that they can tell us the age of the rocks. The second thing is fossils can help us determine the climate that existed at the time the rocks form. And also these fossils can tell us about the environment that existed at the time that the rocks formed. So let's start talking about the age of the rocks. So what we need to remember is, just like how older rock layers are found near the bottom, older fossils are also going to be found near the bottom of rock layers. So what we have to realize is, if we know the age of a fossil, we can then determine what the age of the rock that contains that fossil is, and vice versa. What that means is, if we know the age of the rock, we can also determine the age of the fossil if the fossil is within a specific rock layer. So if we look here at rock layer C in the bottom, the fossil that I'm pointing to is about 330 million years old. We can then conclude that rock layer C also has to be approximately 330 million years old. As we get a little closer to the present, near the top of the rocks, where the top layer represents younger rocks and younger fossils, the fossil that's getting pointed to is about 225 million years old. We can then conclude that rock layer A is also about 225 million years old, similar in age to the fossil that's found within that layer of rock. So fossils can also tell us a lot of other interesting things about organisms. Specifically, they can tell us information about organisms that lived at the same time in Earth's history. So as an example, look at rock layer A. There's two specific fossils within that rock layer. These two fossils, since they're in the same layer, indicate that those two organisms existed on Earth at the same time. So for example, the Mycoceras fossil and the Acanthoscaphites fossil both lived at the same time and we can prove this because they're found in the same rock layer. So fossils can also provide a lot of other in interesting information, especially about Earth's climate. So what happens when a fossil is formed, it's capturing an organism that existed at a certain time in the past. If a specific fossil contains an organism that is, let's say, for example, a polar bear or a penguin, those organisms live in cold climates. So if we come back 10,000 years from now and find fossils of polar bears and penguins, people are going to conclude that the environment that those rocks formed in were cold. That tells us a lot about the climate of the past. In our example here, in rock layer B and rock layer E, those are examples of fossils of corals. Now, fossils that are found from organisms that thrive in tropical environments can indicate that when those rocks formed, the climate was warmer on Earth. So think about this. This is a picture of a coral reef. This is a very tropical and warm environment. This is what corals need to exist. So when you find a coral fossil, for example, in rock layer B and rock layer E, it's going to indicate that during those specific layers, when those rocks form, the climate was warmer at that time in the past. Another thing that fossils can provide information on is the type of environment. And what I mean by environment, I mean was the environment marine? Was it filled with water? Was sea level really high and Earth was covered with water? Or was the environment more land-based? Was sea level really low and land dominated at the time? If we look at rock layer A at the top, that's showing the fossil of a fish organism. So when we're studying rock layer A and we find fish fossils, that's going to indicate to us that sea level was really high and water was really abundant on Earth, which tells us about the environment in the past. 